I have been trying to make this video for hours now, but it's break time so I can go ahead and make it. If you purchased a quilling kit from me, I'm just gonna go over what's in the kit. I will make videos on everything, on how to use everything and make everything tomorrow. But to start, you have a frame, a four by four frame. You have cardstock that you can cut and put behind the glass in the frame to make your picture pretty. You have a flower pattern and you have a circle template. This is what you'll use to make the pieces for your flower petals and assemble them. This is a foam sheet. You can use it or not use it, but they have you have some pens to go with it. You can place your pieces on the foam and hold them in place with the pens while you glue these little pieces like this. You also have a glue card. Spread the glue on, dip the piece in, put it on your frame. You have four different kinds of paper. This is three millimeter patterned or textured paper. You have two millimeter smooth paper. You have a few strips of cardstock, so you'll see how thick it is and how it is to roll that. And then you have regular copy paper. Um, this is practice paper. Use this first to learn how to quill. Um, practice using the quilling tool. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's an angel pattern that you have. You, this is the circle template. This is the bottom. These are the wings. Right there you go. Those are the wings. That is the head. Make sure you keep it in that order. You also have a blank that you're going to put your angel on after you make it. Let's see, this is a little extra. Um, this is a shape shaper is what I'm calling it, but you'll um, load your paper in through that little slit, wrap it around, glue each um, layer so that you have a pretty strong piece. This is what you get in the end. It is for making things like borders, um, like this where you wanna border around something. Keep it sturdy. Scissors, extremely sharp. Be careful, I'm not responsible for any injuries. Tweezers, this is your quilling tool. You will see it has a little slot. That's where you put your paper in and roll it around till you get a coil. A little bottle of paintbrush glue. This is a quilling comb. This is just a little extra piece I included. Um, it's a flea comb, but we use it in quilling to make, uh, that's glue, to make shapes like this. This flower here, You'll use this circle sizer. So the dark color will be four of one color. The light color is three of another color. Um, you will assemble and I let this out so you'll see that it's a two part. This is the bottom, that light part is the top. You'll smush them together to, together to get this shape. You can use the circle sizer or you can use the cone and make this shape to make the stems, the pieces in there. I think that's everything.